Here we go, everybody. Now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star. Uh, first of all, Russell, how do I pronounce your last name correctly? Hodgkinson? Hodgkinson. Very good. Yeah, oh, just like, like that. Like the disease. Oh, wow. Sad. No, that's Hodgkin. Well, not oh, quite. Hodgkin. Not quite. <laughs> Hodgkin's without the sun. Right. right. Sun to the kin to the son of the disease. Right. There we go. All right, everybody. Now we want to welcome to the Jimmy Star Show with Ron Russell, the fabulously talented superstar of Z Nation, Mr. Russell Hodgkinson. Hello and welcome to the show. Well, Hey, thank you, Jimmy, Ron. Thanks, guys. So you already How's know him, so I don't have to, like, introduce we, him, but I'll well, introduce him anyway. Yeah. He's our cool, outrageous man about town, Ron Russell. Hey, how are you, Russell? You guys are looking be... very dapper, very handsome. Thank it's, you. It's gonna, well, you too. It's going to be a good show. I asked the question off the... Now, is the beard, or is this what you look like? It's my look for a Z Nation up for a fourth season to shoot season four. So keep, you keep stay in character when you're off, when you're not sure. Well, you know, I do the Comic-Con, okay. so I think the fans... Right. I don't think it's easy to keep it as it is. To okay. So let's hold on. We will see you in uh, Sego, I believe, or L.A. for the next com the big one. Uh, oh, big, big, San Diego. Yep. San Diego. We're going to go because we'll be in Palm Springs. So we're going down there. So we'll be able to meet you. Well, will hopefully, be, you know, I yeah, we'll we be fun. invited to yet. We, we're the, the, the bigger of the day. This way you'll definitely. <laughs> that way. Well, we, we, uh, we're definitely the ready uh, zombie apocalypse. Talk so. about that, too, in one minute. The rest of the team, because we got the man behind me. Hey, Russell, hey, brother. And then we hey, have people, so say hello to everybody. Hey, how's there it going? You go. <laughs> just did a, uh, a fast weekend. It's called the Macabre Civil. Macabre Fair Film. Civil. And Jimmy and I were, I presented for two five movie. And I, I did Best Actress and Best Soundtrack. Or uh, something. These movies are incredible. They're all, uh, what do you call them, horror movies? I yeah. hate to use that word, horror movies. They're all um, fun, wait, scary wait, movies. Wait, 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 Russell, how do you say horror? <laughs> horror. Horror, see? He's horror. Horror. No, he's, horror? he's he says it correctly, like me, horror. I just you, think scary movies. No, yeah, scary that's movie. better. That works. I like that. That works. Scary Jim, movies. Jimmy's <laughs> from Florida, and we had a female guest on He's one from day. Florida, too. Wait a second. And he said Actually, to her, yeah. how long have you been a whore in the movies? <laughs> and she said, I've, I've never been a whore in movies. <laughs> well, I'm not good with the whole whore. Heard, so yeah. that, that's how Jimmy pronounces horror, whore. And he offends, affects, actually, a lot of women give him his phone number, but <laughs> I'm all kidding. No, hold on. Let's, okay, let's talk about you a little bit, and then we'll go into Z Nation. So first of all, because I'm from South Florida. I was born in Miami. Uh, I was actually born in Kendall. I uh, grew up in West Palm Beach. I went to high school in Jacksonville College in Gainesville, and then I lived in Fort Lauderdale in Boca as an adult. And, and you were born at the Homestead Air Force Base. Homestead, I was born on him, Homestead Air Force Base. Uh, in a hospital that I don't believe is there anymore. Um, yeah, I tried to get my birth certificate and um, the hospital's not even there. I wanted to get the time that I was born. For some reason, they didn't put the time on my birth certificate at the Air Force Base. <laughs> well, why don't you... Why I, can don't never you... Get a, I can never get a really good astrological reading. Well, why don't you call... <laughs> I don't know what time I was born. Listen, Isn't that crazy? Why don't, why don't you call Obama? And ask him how he got his birth certificate. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so hold on, then you, grew, I, then you um, grew up in St. Petersburg. I grew up, I grew up in St. Petersburg, yeah. St. Petersburg, Florida. So I like the newly wed, but then nearly dead. I, I lived in Florida for 48 years. We moved here about four years ago. And normally every winter we go to Florida, but we didn't this year. And now we're looking to Now, where are you? Pump. We're in Pennsylvania. Oh, God okay. Second. <laughs> God forsaken Pennsylvania and the farms. Actually, no. Uh, where are you? You, you don't because you don't live in L.A. now, right? Where do you live now? Well, um, I live in Seattle, but I'm going to be kind of dividing my time between Seattle and Los Angeles during the off season because um, we shoot Z Nation in Spokane, Washington. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, yeah. So, do you ever see Kim Novak walking around town? No. No, she's, I never have. she's from there, and she's very, very open. I understand. She's just uh, like an ordinary person now, no longer a great movie star. I love huh. Kim Novak. I'm, I want to get her on the show. He, uh, just so you know a little bit about us, uh, like Ron used to host a show called Set the Record Straight, where he would like interview all the legends of Hollywood, and he was best friends with Jane Russell, and he interviewed like Tab Hunter and. All the old bands. All the old bands. Lauren Bacall Lauren and all Bacall, those kind of people. Cliff and, Robertson. I, all, all of the people from my gender. And I got I, into all Actually, this. not. They're older than I. I was a kid. Seriously. Yeah. They were all much older. They're in their, their 80s and 90s. I'm only 76. I'm young. They're old. 
<laughs> That's right. And then I was a celebrity clothing designer and d d used to dress all the horror movie icons, and that's kind of how I got into all this in the first place, into doing so, all so of this. So we're pretty, Very cool. we're, we're pretty knowy about a lot of shit. Anyway, so now I want to ask you a few questions. Uh, what day sure. did you wake up and say, I think I'm going to pursue acting because I have a thing that I feel that I could be a superstar one day? Uh, uh, well, I never, ever thought that, but um, <laughs> well, I was kind of a... I was kind of an acting geek in high school uh, theater. You know, I did all the plays all through high school. I was like the president of the thespian society and all that. But then um, my girlfriend got pregnant. And so I kind of pissed away my, my scholarship. I had a scholarship, uh, a theater art scholarship. And so instead of doing that, I joined the army. Um, but I got divorced pretty quickly thereafter. Uh, you know, we were like 17 when we got married. Right. And uh, so I soon found that on the uh, military base I was at, the Fort Bragg um, military base, there was a playhouse. And so I auditioned for a play uh, at the Fort Bragg Playhouse, and, and I got cast in a little play. And, and then I just started doing one show after another. And the artistic director there sort of became my mentor and really suggested that I pursue, you know, a career as an actor. You did but a lot of theater. Me, yeah, for me, it was always theater. I never, yeah. ever thought about television or film, really, well, until... The, the, theater makes for a great actor. We all know that. Uh, I mean, well, people I with, so. No, people with theater background are far better actors than these kids they pick up at a, 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 hop, a high school dance and they make into a movie star. You know? Yeah. Well, it's Which just is... great training, I think. For, yeah, theater, you know... theater is it, because it's that's live, right. you're there. If you fuck up, you're the one that's in trouble. You can't blame it on there's the cameraman. Like you know, there's, there's, nothing. there's no. I've done, the, I've done theater. Yeah. I can no longer do theater because I was offered a wonderful role in Florida, and the show was going to New York. It was called Neil's Garden, about two gay men, and one was an interior decorator visiting his partner, who was going to, going to commit suicide that night because he had AIDS. It was a wonderful script. It was fabulous. It was a two-man play, and I was playing the weirdo, you know, decorator. And I was gone. There was no way I could carry it. I couldn't remember it, no matter what we did. When you get to a certain age, the lines just don't stay. What about you? Yeah. you um, so far, trouble? so good. So far, so good. <laughs> That's good. Um, I, my, my wife is an actress, or was an actress, and um, she kind of quit for that very reason. She just felt like she, she was having difficult, uh, a well, difficult time. Jane Russell, the said. same thing. Jane Russell was offered a wonderful role on Dynasty. And mm. Jane said, I can't remember lines. And I said to Jane, listen, you wear hearing aids. Your wig covers it. They'll plug in and they'll read you the lines. And she just Oh, that would be just she looked, terrifying. She, looked, yeah, it no, would she be. looked at me with such terrifying. disgust in her face. And she said, <laughs> oh, Ron, really? <laughs> so, yeah, so, I, I can't imagine. And that so, would so take you out of the moment, you know, to have somebody exactly, beat you would interrupt you. You, would, you wouldn't hit your marks. You'd trip on your own feet. So you yeah. did a ton of theater, and I and I see that you won three years in a row Best Supporting Actor in a Musical. Does that mean you can sing? Yeah, sure. I love that. Obviously. I love musicals. Uh, it doesn't mean I, I was never, you know, I was never like the pretty singer. I was like the character singer. That's you know? okay. Oh, so like, you could be know, like Al singing about drinking and getting. It's yeah, cold I was like Alfie, and Alfie also, Doolittle and my favorite. <laughs> like, you know, and also, of, once you come from the theater, character singing roles. After you've sung in the theater. The way I always got uh, involved in musicals was with, uh, you know, I have comedic ability. So they always want character, funny character actors. And, right. And, and then they murder. cast the rest of them with the really pretty voices. And, right. <laughs> but, but when you sing in theater, you learn a certain voice that you can use and you could bluff your way through anything. And it's only I think theater, so. It's theater t t taught. You can't learn it on film. It's yeah, you sell it. You know, you sell exactly. it. Exactly. I mean, let, look at uh, Lauren Bacall. She was on Broadway, and Betty couldn't sing a note. And we, she, we would talk about it. You know, I said, but you got away with murder. She said, I'm Lauren Bacall. I can get away with anything. Ah. But if a young person, if no known, ever did that, they kick her right off the stage. Betty was on. Uh, Lauren was very, very honest about things like that. You got to love huh. it. So she's, she's a good person. I so, loved her very much. So then you started doing a bunch of TV appearances. I want to talk about Z Nation real quick, and then we go back and talk about some of the other stuff. Because now you're on Z Nation. Z Nation is on Sci-Fi. I don't even know when it airs because I have to. I watch it all on Netflix. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know when it airs. But you've done three seasons. You play Doc. Um, 
I, I, I'm still not quite caught up, but I'm almost uh, – by the time fourth four season's ready, I'll be caught up, I'm sure. And Z Nation is like the stepchild zombie f- show or whatever. And we had Michael Welch on um, about five months ago probably. You remember Michael Welch? He's the one who met his girlfriend sh- at the um, betting store or whatever, his yeah. fiance at the betting store. He's a really nice guy. And, and I on- said no better place than to meet your fiance in the betting store. He was on the first season of uh, Z Nation. And and now you're, you're like you haven't been killed yet. You got all these seasons. You're like the lead dude. You're like you're very very like a funny zombie killer. Like you really are. You come, you come across very very funny. Um, you know, way out there and wild and different. And and there's not hasn't really been a character like you in any of these other shows, which is one reason probably I think that they like you so much because you're so unique compared to any other type of of zombie stuff that's out there. Are you on the set now? No. No, no. <laughs> but you're I'm in the alley. I thought you were at the studio. Oh, no. He's in an no, alley. No. Oh, just in an alley. Okay. <laughs> With good light. <laughs> Better lighting than we have. We should shoot from that alley. <laughs> so how do you like being on Z Nation, first of all? Is it a lot of fun? Well, you know, anytime it, you know, an actor can get a lead role on a television series, it's kind of a great thing. You so, better believe that. You know, super <laughs> grateful really amazing crew, wonderful cast. We all get along really well. And so it's been pretty amazing. Yeah. I think that Z Nation is way more like, like gross than Walking Dead. Like I think, except for now, Walking Dead season seven, I mean, it got like really violent, but like, like right off the bat, cause like in season one, I just finished season one last week. Uh, and so like in season one, you know, like when they're, they had that guy who had the family and like they capture live people and then they cut them up alive and eat their body parts and stuff. I mean, that was amazing, like wild stuff that like you, you didn't I really can't do. Deal with that stuff. <laughs> and I they didn't really watched. do that, you know, on The Walking Dead. And so like I thought that was like really cool. And then when you got stuck within the zombie in the elevator in the garbage shaft or whatever, you know, yeah, and then shaft. you're like, and then you pull out a joint and you're like getting the zombie high and shit. That shit was some funny shit, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you're not going to see that on The Walking Dead, that's for sure. <laughs> but, you know, be, being at the fair that we were this weekend, speaking to a lot of the producers and directors, they said that in the horror movies, they're going away from the blood and guts. They're starting now to develop stories which interest the people and then insert some horror, but not make it all about horror and insert some dialogue. That's what always kept the horror movies yeah, you know, away from being great. We're trying to- we're trying to put the fun back in the apocalypse, right? Right. Absolutely. You know? But you have to have story because people are starting apocalypse. to want story. He doesn't watch Z Nation, just so yeah. you know. No, he I, 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 I watch. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm, a, I'm sure you're a great not actor. Not for everybody. I'm, you're a great actor, and I'd love to see you in anything that was well written. Uh, I, no, actually, no, Z Nation is very well no, written. it's still not for me. I he don't just like can't the, stand the eating, I, I you know, like the eating the people. Stuff, that stuff it gets me crazy. I get it. I, I get it. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Before we we've been together for five years, but before I met him, I was like the king of like indie horror, and so uh, I used to you know hang out with all the horror movie stars and dress them and and go to parties and See, stuff. And like I freaking and I like hung love out it. With Betty Davis, so that's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> do you know who Betty Davis? Yes, yeah, it's, it's fun getting to do the comic cons because I get to meet a lot of those people as well. Um, right, like but I'm Kruger so happy and, that they're, they're yeah. Go. Freddy Krueger's awesome. I'm happy they're allowed. Well, you know, Freddy Krueger, those movies, believe it or not, had a story. When it scared the hell out of you, there was a story there. Halloween had a story. Now wow. some of well, we have a story. They have a great story. Yeah. So some I mean, of these... the one thing, the big difference between Z Nation and The Walking Dead is, you know, we have a clear cut mission. You know, we've got a guy right. that's been bit by a zombie. He didn't turn into. He didn't turn. So we know that he's got the antibodies. So we're trying to get him into California to create a vaccine to the CDC right. labs to create a vaccine, save the world. So we've got a clear cut mission. Uh, where The Walking Dead is pretty much just about survival, I guess. Right. Well, right. We, we have a few friends that are in The Walking Dead. What's his name? Actually, we've had almost we've had everybody uh, on the show. Of, the we had Norman Reedus, Michael Rooker, uh, the, the good ones, and they um, said that they, Ross Marquand. and they said that as zombies, they would have liked to have had some kind of character development. I said, how do you have character development in a zombie? You know, maybe we could do that. Make a zombie into a whatever. You know. Actually, though, Z Nation like does it, and I love DJ Qualls. Yeah, sure, well, yeah. Like he's he's a really funny, like cool actor. Actually, I think it's a, I think the cast is actually phenomenal, and I like to see. I went through the whole IMDb page to see, like you know, because they started out they had a few 
names that were maybe more recognizable that started out and then you know killed off or all gone and 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 it's left with like this yeah, we can't afford the big stars that's right but then you're then you have this like ragtag crew of people that everybody gets along and everybody looks like they work well together and i think that the cast uh now i'm almost i'm almost i'm like i'm at the beginning of season three so like the cast is really like gelling and like you actually feel for the characters and you like the characters you know like like when you were in the shoot and you were like uh, smoking dope with the uh, zombie I thought, and then they were going to leave because they thought you were dead. I was like, oh, my gosh, you know, like, uh, he better not be, you know. I knew you weren't going to be dead because I can read IMDb, but the fact that they were just going to, like, leave you there, I was all upset. <laughs> well, they were going to give me mercy, you know, and, and mercy is something that we we only do on our show. That's We're not just killing zombies. We're, like, giving them mercy. It's, you know, kind of a different thing. So they were going to give Doc mercy because I came out of the air shaft with all the zombie guts all over me and kind of staggering, so it kind of looked, for a minute there, it looked like I was a zombie. So they're like, oh no, you gotta give him mercy. But then the first shot misses me and they realize, and then I start saying, hey, what's going on? What are you trying to kill me? And then they all start laughing. And it was really, really actually the first moment that the group had a genuine kind here. of moment of joy. And uh, I thought it was a real nice, you know, I know you're out there. I can see you. Running, hiding, killing, surviving. In accordance with the emergency executive order, you have been selected for exposure to an experimental substance. I've seen it all. And I gotta tell you people, we've been getting our asses kicked. Show them! Well, today's the day that all that changes. You're looking at the only human known to have survived being bitten by a zombie. His blood carries the antibodies for the ZN1 virus. If we can get him to the lab in California, they can use his blood and make more of the vaccine for the zombie virus. Gunner? Blue Sky's been overrun. <laughs> Looks like we're taking Mr. Congeniality to California. We evac as soon as the plane's loaded. Go, go, go! Northern Light, signing off. Now here's a little something for all you out there. We're 3,000 miles of bad road between you and home. I hope you can hear it. Quick search for survivors and any supplies. Don't hurt him. You and I are gonna clear the building. Let's do this. Behind you. Brutal. I know where you can fill up. A place called Jersey Devil Refinery. Come on, fresh meat! Go around! Too late! God, I hate moral dilemmas. I give you mercy.
Jim, are you there? Yeah, you can there? you hear me? We got you now. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, we're back. Okay. Am I back? Okay, good. The thing I wanted to say is, yes, getting a great star, getting a George Clooney on your show definitely would up your viewers. But let me say we something. Budget. But wait a second. We don't have wait, budget. wait, let me finish my thought. Okay, You're going li yeah. to like Sorry. my thought. Get great. an actor like you, possibly, who is so great. People will watch for you. And the hell with George Clooney, because he's not a great actor. <laughs> so there you go. Well, it, bottom line is, it's all about the performance. I, the, I like to think so. That'd be great. Yeah. If the performance is great, people don't care about the star. So let me ask you a question. Oh, yeah. do, do you like horror? Like, let, I know you've done several horror movies, you know, uh, that you've been in several fun kind of horror movies and stuff like that. But is it something that you like liked before you started acting in it? Did you watch horror? Not really. I mean, the old I watched, you know, I was in Carrie and really a fan of where anything particularly. Everybody thinks I am because I'm on a hobby show. Right. Uh, you know, you so you just take the jobs that pay and, Absolutely. and uh, some of those just kind of come my way. Oh, I love that. I was a zombie movie. I would love it. Sure. I, see, I would love to be in a zombie movie. Like, I just think because it's, like it's a, acting. Because it's like my favorite thing. And because and because you guys' show is so much like, in a lot of ways, I think it's a lot cooler than The Walking Dead. I mean, you guys as zombies can run. I mean, you guys as zombies are like way more evil and stuff than The Walking Dead zombies are. They just like walk, so like, you know, you don't have to really like worry about them. You, it's like you guys as zombies like have brains. Like even at the very first episode, at the very beginning, you know, like they're hiding in the water. You know, and then they get yeah. up and start running and stuff. I mean, you don't see that kind of stuff in zombie movie. And that, and that that struck me as like, oh, my God, this is like a really cool. I mean, it, yes, it's low budget, but it's a cool, low budget, different kind of premise. Hey, well, yeah, we're, we're, we're making the best of the little bit of funds that we have and just trying to make the, the best show possible. And everybody's on board with it. And we got we just got the best of everybody, you know, just a wonderful crew. And so you guys should just come out to Spokane this summer and be zombie extras. You guys could be the gay couple zombies. Yeah. <laughs> be a zombie right? and drag. Hell, I could, it could anyway. happen. Yes to all those crazy ideas. We're the 42, I believe it was. Bella Lugosi had a walk of the zombies. And the zombies were black bull. They made them close <laughs> their eyes, paint their eyelids white, put a black dot in the middle. So they looked like their eyes opened wide, and they had them look like zombies. Oh, that I love well, that. In, well, they, they released those films because the black protesters didn't want to be shown that way. Because in those days, people only portrayed stupid, ignorant maids. Yeah, well, come on, sir, what you want, baby? Well, stupid people like that, which as we know black people are not. And they protested. Now, they've lifted the gates on that. Those zombie films are starting to come up on TC. And they are horrible. They are corny. They are terrible. <laughs> These atrocious. Bella Lugosi would have been hung by his nut. I mean, a terrible <laughs> film. So I would have shot them only because they were Z films, not even B films. But I think the zombie came from that thing. Because um, the early zombie movies were kind of scary, but not gory. Why must they have heads ripped off and people eating people? Uh, it, it just goes a little bit, I think, beyond entertainment it goes into some Not kind for of me a, i love it <laughs> no, well you're weird you're you know weird. yeah people love it there, because there's no there accounting weird, for it there are really. weird people out there who have desire of camel cannibalism so well, i don't know it appeals to everybody kids like it because they get scared well you've also yeah. done some other stuff we'll go off of z nation a little bit yeah yeah let's hear about uh, the act so he was in big fish when we had joseph cross on the show that okay. was more of like one of your earlier things right big fish yeah, don't blink your eyes or you'll miss me in Big Fish. That's okay. I mean, it was right. a star-studded <laughs> film. and then you I've did... been in a few of those films, too. <laughs> then you did Fat... I, I didn't write down everything. I wrote down the things where I, like, no... I, I've actually seen him. Fat Kid Rules the World with Billy Campbell. He loves Billy Campbell because the Rocketeer. Billy. He loves Wonderful. the Rocketeer. Love... Is Billy yeah, Campbell... Yeah, very... is, is his father that was direct... really... Is his, is his that father... That show was directed by Matthew Lillard, which was his directorial debut, too, so... Oh, that I didn't fun. know that. that. Matthew Lillard from yeah. Scream? Yeah, Matthew Lillard. I love him. Yeah, yeah he's great. I love him. He's fabulous. Is Billy he's really Campbell, helpful for me. Is Billy Campbell's family really the, the major battery company? I have no idea. He, he's a multi gazillionaire, you know. His is parents, he really? yeah, his parents owned the battery. I forgot the battery company. One of them, the Ever big ready? famous ones, huh? Ever Ready or Duracell? No, Duracell. One of those. Anyway, that's who his father was. He, wow. so he, yeah, he keeps it very secret. He's a sweet guy. I've met him a couple of times, and he was really nice. Very, well, then very, you did. Yeah. Then I, you oh, had nice. a, a role in Twenty One and Over with Miles Teller, who now is like a list, like one of the biggest freaking stars on the planet. 
And Justin right? Chan, which, prayer, I bring up Justin Chan just because I know him. I've dressed him once uh, at a celebrity mm-hmm. event. And uh, and somewhere before all of this, and I don't even know if this is true because I don't know if you wrote the trivia on your IMDb or somebody else did, but I, I have on here that you uh, worked as a nanny in New York City for two the two grandsons of Lucille Ball. Is that true? True story, yes. So, so that's Lucy's daughter. What's her that's name? That's a bit of trivia, right? <laughs> yeah. That, no, you have a trivia. good trivia sheet. Like uh, everybody go to, I, to Russell Hodgkinson. So, yeah. yeah, and go and look under the I trivia know. on IMDb because like everybody else, nobody writes hardly anything. And you got like a whole page of really cool shit. <laughs> so that was Lucy. I don't want to put the boring now. stuff, you know. So yeah. I've, I've got a pretty unorthodox career I've had. And so, uh, yeah, that's that was definitely um, a cool moment. Well, when you're an actor, I was, you, you know, I was working anything. for Lucy Arnaz, Lucy's daughter, right, Lucy Arnaz, and, and her name? husband Lawrence H- Huckenbill. H- Huckenbill, Bill, right? That's cool, though. Right. Yeah, you don't hear about very ma- many male nannies. Well, she has boys. Right. Does that mean yeah? Difference? Simon yeah. and Joe. That's cool. Uh, yeah. they were little... Most people don't want a man uh, with their daughter, in case the guy's a little well, weird. They they like the fact that I had just got out of the army. Right. And so I was, I kind of uh, talked to the kids like they're little soldiers and told them, <laughs> get in there, soldier, and clean up that room. And so I was kind good, of, good. kind of like their, their little drill sergeant. Now, now they're grown men. Do you see them ever? I don't. I'd love to run into them. That'd be fun. Because they're grown men now. How cool that would be. That they're probably watching Z Nation going, that dude was my nanny. <laughs> <laughs> right. And Lucy Arnaz is watching, saying, oh, my God, what did we do? Look who we had as a nanny. I know. Well, you know, what's what, a funny story is I was doing a I was touring a show, a theater uh, a play, and uh, we Lucy was staying at the same hotel. She was touring uh, a musical um, with. Oh, gosh. Anyway, she was she was doing a singing Arnaz tour. Or, of or, 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 or Arnaz, which Lucy? Lucy Arnaz. OK. And so the elevator door opens up and it's her. And I said, Lucy. And she said, hello. And I says, it's Rusty. I used to babysit you. I, I babysat for you. And she thought I meant that her. I babysat her. And right. she says, I don't think so. <laughs> and I said, no, no, I babysat Simon and Joe. She says, oh, my God, Rusty, because I had long hair and beard. Right. <laughs> so when I babysat for her, I was like 23. So. I a clean cut without the beard. That's funny. You couldn't yeah. have babysat for Lucy. So then you, got a, then you got a film, Starleaf. And now is this film already out, Starleaf? Uh, yeah, that's already out. And in, in fact, we're working on the uh, the sequel to Starleaf. Okay, so here's the, uh, here's the here's the uh, premise of this one. I wrote it down. Hikers find a secret grove of extraterrestrial marijuana, and oh, must right. must fight for their lives when they anger the otherworldly forces protecting the plants. So aliens are protecting <laughs> the marijuana. Oh, kill me that, that yeah. hilarious. Is it fun? Hey, it's, it's, it's right in my right in my wheelhouse. You know, yeah. Russell. It's a comedy. Is it a yeah. Comedy? Oh, thank It's God. a comedy. Yeah, it's very Good. funny and, and scary. It's so far, high right. sci-fi horror. You know. I love that. And uh, the, the interesting, the interesting thing about Starleaf is uh, they're actually creating a strain of marijuana called Starleaf uh, that will actually help uh, bring awareness to the med- the medicinal benefits of uh, marijuana for soldiers with PTSD. Oh, um, that's a good reason. So it's a it's a real medicinal strain. Yeah. I Which is very that. cool. I like that also. That makes me happy. And then you did a movie, yeah. You Can't Win. Now, that I didn't see, but I just wrote it down. That's not out yet. That's that, not out I yet. Okay. Think, that may never come out. Oh, too bad. It's got Michael Pitt. He's like one of the most greatest actors on the planet. He's pretty wonderful. And I, I don't know what ever happened. It just got shelved for some reason. Well, I'll keep my fingers crossed because it, it's a pretty great story based oh, on a book I'll... by Jack Black. Did they already about hobos did, and, did they already finish filming it? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna it's, check if it's into shelved, that. It has to be finished. I know. I'm gonna go it's, check that it's, out it's, though, because I have distribution. I'm gonna maybe contact them. Maybe I can get it. Is that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Pitt it ever Brothers? got finished. No. I mean, um, in, with the editing and all the other stuff you do. I mean, we shot it, but okay. You know, there's so much else that no, goes Michael on. No, you know, Michael Pitt was in Boardwalk it. Empire. The show Boardwalk Empire, The Blonde. He was in Murder by Numbers with uh, Ryan Gosling and oh, Sandra I like Bullock. Him. He's a good actor. He was in uh, that play. He was uh, he was so great. I love that. I know who he is. Now. What was the yeah. play they turned into a movie? Do you know the musical? Or Wicked. He sings Wicked Game or Wicked City. Uh, Wicked? No, 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 no. It's a. Uh, oh, I can't think of that play where he plays like a rock star, a drag, uh, uh, like a. Edwin. 
Hedwig and the yeah, Hedwig and the Hedwig. Angry Inch. Yeah, what a, which is like a great, great, great movie and great play. Um, yeah. And then I, I would just like. Did you get to meet Michael Pitt? I did. Uh, I would nice, love to nice meet him. Man. Oh, he's just really cool. Like I, I, I well, we should get him on the show. Uh, yeah, it's hard to get. He doesn't have Twitter. He doesn't do social media. He doesn't do anything. He's kind of like he's got a band. I tried contacting him through his band, but and then you got a mo- another movie, Simple Creature. Yeah, Simple Creature. That was a that was fun. That, that was one- fun. Another um, uh, Seattle filmmaker. Uh, yeah, I tend to like the indie films, you know, um, just because these are sometimes the first time filmmakers uh, it's their first film and there's you know they're so enthusiastic and i uh and it's their it's their baby you know and it's just not it's not like just another movie it's absolutely their, you know and so it's it's really fun it's a nice environment to uh little indie films now how about if they offered you a role where you have to cut your hair shave and you have to play a very rich older man who's keeping angelina jolie would you turn it down? <laughs> I would not turn that down. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> you got but it's, I'm a, actually, it's a good um, premise. <laughs> I'm actually in LA and um, I, I finally, I've got a, a Los Angeles agent, so I'll be able to start auditioning for, um, you know, pilot season and, and, and other, bigger other projects. Things. Yeah, you don't want to. Because wanna... all the films that you mentioned, all the films that you mentioned were all things that I booked while I was living, while I was living in Seattle. Right. So they're all little pride and we don't get a lot of work, but you know, we'll get little indie films here and there. And once in a while, a bigger film will come along. And you'll get right. a small part in a bigger film. Uh, but no, so but now L- I'm, LA I'm is to... the place. There's no question about it. When I lived out yeah. in LA, all kinds of stuff came. My TV show was in LA. Uh, so ah. that's why we're moving back so we can get better stars in house stars and a better studio and make our show even Yeah, next better. time we want, we want to have you on. We want to have you on live. We want to have you come sit in the studio with us on a couch. And you'll have coffee <laughs> and, and, you know, you'll be part of the show rather than Skyping in. Uh, I know sure. so many. I'm, I'm in the business 58 years, so I know so many people in the biz. You know, we all were little kids together. I mean, like Christopher Walken. <laughs> Chris lived up the road from me. My birthday came. My birthday cakes came from his mother's bakery. And wow. little, little Chris Walken. I mean, today, look where he is. <laughs> now, there's some trivia it. for your IMDb page. I never wrote that. I should write all that crap, you know, because yeah. I have so many. No, I, I, knew, I knew Ethel Merman. She came from not far from us, uh, went to school with not my sister. I forgot who. Tony Bennett lived on Steinway Street. I was a hairdresser. I worked for his brother, John Bennett, and I used to see well, Tony all the time. So a lot of people came from Astoria, Queens, believe it or not. There's a big celebrity country. We saw a, a good movie the other day that, that we would recommend, even though it got panned by, by people. They didn't like it because I was on Twitter looking at it. But we saw the new Ben Affleck movie, Live By right. Night. It's about the ma- mafia in the 20s and 30s, the Italian and the Irish Irish mafia. It was very well shot, very well acted. It was like really, really good. And we came out of it thinking, oh, my God, this is like a really good movie. And I thought, everybody's going to love this movie. And then... I went on Twitter and like it's just totally getting panned and like nobody likes it. Every tweet about it is like it's the worst movie like on the planet. It's, it's, <laughs> and it's really not. So it's all subjective, I guess. It, it has a beginning, a middle, and an end, which every film should have and most don't. It was well acted by Ben and the cast. It was beautifully shot. The, 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 the cinematography was just wonderful. Um, it, it was a class act movie. It was a movie that could have gotten away with it in the 50s. Uh, it wasn't, it, and it had violence. It had a lot of shooting of people, killing, blowing up, but it, it was done well. And it was, let's say, good taste. Um, unfortunately, good. we have audiences today that have very, very uh, <coughs> attention spans. Their attention span is not much. They're on their Twitters all day. They're on their cell phones. I'm, I'm one of those people. I'm on Twitter all day. And they disconnect from the world. They don't know how to speak on telephone. So you guys listen up. Hold on, because we're going to run out of time. So first of all, you guys, this is Russell Hodgkinson. He plays Doc on Sci-Fi Z Nation. He's also, if you go on his IMDb, he's got tons and tons of credits, and I'm sure that you're going to have tons and tons of more. Do you have anything else like coming up that we should know about? Um, no, not really. You know, we're, we're all getting excited for season four of Z Nation. So we'll, we'll get back to work on that. And, uh, and pilot uh, season, I, just, I hope you book also, I hope you book something great. You really should. It's, it's, oh, uh, thanks. I appreciate it. We and I can tell from, from your personality, cause I'm pretty good at this. I've met trillions of actors in my day, judging by your personality. I would say that this film, this show you're on now is a stepping stone. 
you're going to go places because you have a nice personality and you're able to emote and you're able to Thank be you, friendly. Ron. No, no, Thank this you. is no smoke up your ass. I don't do that. No, you're I don't. A, you're I... able to talk to a camera and make a friend. And you've made a friend of me, and that's so important. We have many guests on who are so full of themselves that we get nothing from it. Hmm. All we get is a lot of their bullshit. You are a person of empathy, and I could tell that you can do a you, – you're, you're a good actor. Easy words. You're a damn good actor. Thank you so much. You've got spirit and style. So what is Hodge Mahal? Like, what is what is that? Like, how did you come up with your Twitter name, Hodge Mahal? Um, my my best friend Chris came up with that for me back in the back when email was just starting, and uh, he said you need an email account, and I'm like, well, I don't even know what that is, and so he said, look, I'm gonna set you up, and he just came up with it. And, okay. Uh, and so it's just his. So we want everybody to follow you on follow you on Twitter, you guys. So follow Russell on Twitter. It's at H O D G M A H A L. Is that how you pronounce it, Hodge Mahal? Hodge Mahal. It's, like Ta- it's like Taj Mahal, but Hodge Mahal. Hodge Mahal. Right. We want everybody to tune into Z Nation. If you haven't seen the first three seasons, they're on Netflix. So get caught up before season four comes out. I guess when will it come out in the fall? Probably uh, September two 2000- thousand. Uh, 17. 17. All right. So yeah. that'll be coming out. So you have you got plenty of time, everybody, to catch up on the whole thing. I really wish you all the best luck in uh, and during pilot season and just in everything that you do. It's uh, been a super pleasure. You're a super cool guy, and and I love the beard and everything. And I think it's going to make you stand out a <laughs> lot. I have nothing against the beard. I just feel that. That's he, okay. I just feel that you know, so many male actors today change the color of their hair. They want to look different in every role. That's the thing today. Once you are cat like Monty Woolley. Monty Woolley, do you know who Monty Woolley was? The famous actor from the 40s, no, Monty Woolley? He was Cole Porter's lover for years and years. Anyway, Monty Woolley was a very big a character actor. Uh, Man Who Came to Dinner, that movie. Anyway, he had, he had a beard and hair like that, and he never played anything but a man with a beard and hair like that. So it did limit his work. That's all I'm saying is <clears throat> in an act of variety today, women change their hair colors constantly. Look at that Jennifer Broad. She's a brunette. She's a, a blonde. She's a redhead. Jennifer Everyone. Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. I love her. <laughs> That's a good actress. See, I want to get a role on Vikings, and I want to get a role on, uh, you know, Vikings as one of the is Vikings. awesome. Uh, Vikings is a good You know, show there's pilot. Vikers and Vikings and bums and rednecks. You would have been great. You would have been of, Sons of I Anarchy. Get a lot of Look. Yes, you would have been so good on Sons of Anarchy too if they bring something like that, or when they because eventually they, those shows always come around. So I love it. I think that that you've developed. Well, you know, Emilio character. Emilio Rivera, who has been on our show, was on Sons of Anarchy, and he mm-hmm. got they got a spinoff. I think it's called The Mayans or something. Yeah, The Mayans. Uh, yeah, and uh, so and he's my buddy, so maybe just, I'll get to have a guest star role on just, that. Just get your agent sending you out everywhere. You're going to you're gonna book yeah. tons of them. You're a great actor. You're a lot of fun. We want to thank you so much. Good luck with pilot season, and we can't wait for season four of Z Nation. And we'll see you great. in the movies. That's right. We'll see you in the Thanks movies. So much, thank you so much. Take care, baby. Bye-bye. Take Bye-bye. care. Bye-bye. See ya.